Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to morning prayer. This is Monday, the sixth week in ordinary time. Our morning prayer today begins on page 554. Let's join together in prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm. Keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. God of consolation, look on us pilgrims in a strange land. Preserve us from slander and deceit. Show us the truth and give to our souls the peace of Christ. Amen. Hymn number two on page 723. O only begotten Son of God, you are the blessed, deathless word. For our salvation you took flesh in the womb of Mary. Only begotten Son of God, you are the blessed, deathless word. For our salvation you took flesh in the womb of Mary. And thus we make our faithful cry to you now glorified on high. Save us, who pray to you with faith and love this night. Hymn number 120. Rescue me, O Lord, from liars and from all deceitful people. O deceptive tongue, what will God do to you? How will he increase your punishment? You will be pierced with sharp arrows and burned with glowing coals. How I suffer in far off Meshach. It pains me to live in distant Kedar. I am tired of living among people who hate peace. I search for peace, but when I speak of peace, they want war. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now it will be forever. Amen. Our scripture this morning is from the book of Judith. In spite of everything, we should thank the Lord our God who was testing us just as he tested our ancestors. Remember how he tested Abraham and Isaac, and remember what happened to Jacob in Syrian Mesopotamia while he was taking care of the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother. The Lord is trying us with fire to test our hearts, just as he did with them, but he is not punishing us. He tests the hearts of those who are close to him in order to warn them. Blessed be God, who lives forever, whose reign endures throughout all ages. Declare God's praise before the nations, you who are the children of Israel. For if our God has scattered you among them, there too has he shown you his greatness. Exalt him in the sight of the living, because he is our God and our Father forever. Though God punishes you for your wickedness, mercy will be shown to you all. God will gather you from every nation, for whatever you have, wherever you have been scattered. Then, when you turn to the Lord with all your heart and soul, God will hide his face from you no more. See what the Lord has done for you, and give thanks with a loud voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness, and exalt the King of the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. In our hunger and thirst, we long for you, living Christ. In our darkness and tears, 
We long for you, living Christ. In our alienation and uncertainty, we long for you, living Christ. In your call and your deliverance, we long for you, living Christ. In our truth, justice, and love, we long for you, living Christ. Father, thank you for Mass we had yesterday here at St. Martin's. Thank you for the men that come, Mark and Ed and Bill. It was wonderful to be here in your presence in the chapel. Give us peace this day, O Lord. Give all people peace. May we strive for peace. And realize the only way we find peace is from you. For you have said, I, my peace I give to you. And, oh, Lord, help us this day when we go through struggles and difficulties. Realize that they are tests to strengthen our faith, to draw us closer to you, to bring new light and life into our heart through the trials and difficulties that you allow. Even those are gifts from you, Lord. And help us look to you for all things, O oh God. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of our desire, you reveal yourself to us in majesty and glory. May we long for your presence. And if this day our spirits are downcast and our hearts are laid low, bring your truth and light to meet us, that we may be renewed and so take up our part in the renewal of those we meet. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones both near and far away. May the Lord our God order our steps in his ways and our days in his peace. May souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, may the Lord bless you this day and keep you in his grace. May you prepare your hearts for Lent coming up just around the corner in a couple of days. May we begin to look deep in our hearts and turn away from the sin that we find there and what offends God. Live in his grace, live in his peace, and may his glory rest upon you.